channel again. Welcome to today's attempt at the Fusal Puzzle. This is Wordle, but the rules change on every row. So for example, on the top row, my guess can be anything except a real word. Now, if I get down to this row, you can see I've got to use the L and the N. So I'm going to try to avoid the L and the N if I can help it until I'm forced to. Because if I rule them out up here, then I'll just know that that's a wasted guess. Whereas at least if I don't use them in the top four rows, I might actually learn some information on row five if I get down that far. Now, so my guess can be anything except a real word. I usually uh, find out lots of information about the vowels anyway. So I'm going to take this opportunity to test a bunch of consonants. What's the next most common consonant? Probably an L or an N, um, but I'm not going to try those, as I said. How about a D? A G, sorry. Right, we've got a D and an R, so that's not a bad start. Now I don't get yellows, the only hints are letters in the correct places. So that's a bit annoying, because even if I get a grey letter on this attempt, it's not going to be particularly uh, reliable. I guess I want to try and something like under, but of course I don't want to try the N yet. So I'm not going to try older either. Um, I do want to try an ER or an ED ending though. So how about diver? Okay, the D was in the correct place. It's not an ER ending. In fact, the R is not last. The, the R is probably going to be second, isn't it? So I'm not allowed to use six random letters, which includes the D, so that's a bit unhelpful today. It means we definitely can't get the word correct on this guess, but I was very unlikely to get it correct on this guess anyway. Um, how about cramp? That tests my theory of whether the R will be second, and it tests a few new letters. I probably should try the I and the E again, because the I could be third or fourth. The E might be third or last. We just know that they're not in those specific positions because of row two. I always forget that. I always think I've used them, they went grey, so I can't use them again. But I need to remember that I can. Oh, and in fact, the R is still not in the right place. That is interesting. So it's not a DR beginning. We still haven't got any vowels correct. So orange hints mean that the letter is within three of your guess in the alphabet. So what do I want to try here? Do I want to put the R third or fourth? The only thing I can think of that starts with D and has the R in fourth is dairy and diary, and it can't be either of those. So I suppose I'm going to have to put it third, but can I think of anything that works with it in fourth? In third, sorry. Um, no might well be the answer. Uh, right, we're going to have to use O, I, or E, aren't we? Possibly more than one of them. I suppose we could use the U even. Um, D, I, R, blank, blank. Um, I mean, it even could be a duplicated R or a duplicated D, but that feels unlikely. The fact that we've got to use the R, but it's not directly after the D, is really making this difficult. Um, Darby is a possible answer, isn't it? It's very restricted. This could be correct. And it is. I couldn't think of anything else that worked. And so, not using the L or the N actually really helped. Of course, I would have used them on the next guess if I needed them but they weren't in the word. So the fact that I blanked them out and focused on other letters actually paid to my advantage by a bit of a uh, fluke, but still required a lot of thought for that, not an easy one. Let me know how you got on if you attempted this. That is the Fusal Puzzle. Thank you for watching and bye for now.